This is a HeadGum Podcast. Here's a question. What is care slash of? Care of is a monthly subscription vitamin service made from effective quality ingredients personally tailored for your exact needs. So I got an email and they were like, take this quiz. So I took a quiz, super easy, super fun, super chill, lots of pictures, truly kept me engaged, bright colors, good for me. And it literally designed the vitamins that I should be taking. And truly I read through it and I was like, this is right. I should be taking these vitamins. And there's tons of benefits to vitamins. So even if you try to maintain a healthy diet, guess what? It can be hard to get all those nutrients your body needs for long-term health. Vitamins also fill the important gaps that your body is missing from your diet. And get this, 90%. It's a lot of people. That's almost all the people. They fall short of the FDA recommended guidelines for at least one vitamin or nutrient. Also, the recommendations are built on clinical research with traditional medicine, with input from doctors and nutritionists. It includes individually wrapped packets with your specific vitamins and supplements for easy grab and go. Because you can't be shaking stuff out of bottles being like, what's this and the other thing? Nope, these are just wrapped up for you. And guess what? It costs about 20% less uh, when compared to similar brands at drugstores and local health food stores. So for 25% off your first month of personalized Care of Vitamins, visit careof.com and enter the promo code DATEME for 25%. I'm saying it again because you might have missed it, but you get 25 to 5% of your first month of personalized vitamins via Care of. Visit Take care of dot com. The promo code is date me. What a treat. You'll be swallowing big old vitamins in no time. Bye bye. Why won't you date me? Why won't you date me? Why won't you date me? try to figure out why I'm still single, how I'm still single, even though I love giving a good blowjob and I'm good at it. Today's guest, I haven't dated him, but he's very funny. You can see him do stand-up all over this fucking country. His name is Brooks Wheeler. Yeah. Beer, beer, beer. Oh, Maybe Brooks. you're single because of your um, iPhone cover. What is that? <laughs> That doesn't scream. You can't see it, but my iPhone cover is a blue unicorn. I it is makes it so cumbersome. It's insane. It I never lose my phone. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> it looks hard to talk on that. It's not hard to talk on. It is hard to put it in my pocket. Yeah, that's not a pocket. It's you can't not put a, that pocket in a pocket phone case. Uh, my best friend got it for me because I like dumb things. It's fun. It's a giant unicorn. Mm-hmm. It makes the phone twice, three, three the size, times, three the times size. the size yeah, of no, a normal iPhone. It's very big. <laughs> yeah, it's got a very long horn. Yeah, a very long horn. It's not. It just does not look like it should fit anywhere. It truly doesn't fit anywhere. It is. It's so cute, and that's all I want to be. I just want to be a cute lady. Oh well, you're not. You're knocking it out of the park with that blue unicorn with pink hair. Brooks, thank you so much. You're welcome. So you are in a relationship. I'm in a a healthy relationship right now. That's nice. It's great. Yes. And you guys met in real life. Yes. Uh. Well. No. Yes and no. Oh. I knew Grace. Um, I don't know if she's comfortable. I'm sure she's fine with this story. And we could just say no. Either, but either way, okay. I knew her in real life, and then saw her on that Raya. Thing. Ah. So it was like, what are you doing on uh-huh. this? And then we started dating. So that's how that worked. It was like we already knew each other. So you knew each other, saw each other on a dating app. If you don't know, Raya is a dating app for people of notoriety. Sure. It was the entertainment field. I I got put on it because Eric Andre, like I I was engaged and then that went, fell apart. I was Mm -hmm. very sad. And Eric Andre was like, get on Raya. (laughs) Like, and I was like, what is that? He's like, it's great. Uh And then I did that. And then uh, I'm like, 
uh, it's it's a fucking disaster in real life. Mm-hmm. But then because uh, it's all shallow people. And then I sure. met uh, my current girlfriend on it. But because we knew each other and just were like, so it was just like easy peasy. It was like, yeah, I, was like, oh, I didn't know, know you were single. Cool. Let's go on a date. See, yeah. that's like that's the the bright side of dating apps where you sure. run into someone that, you know, that you think is attractive and you're into and you're like, oh, I didn't know you were single. Yeah. But now I know because you're in a place for single people. Exactly. That's nice. Raya won't let me on. Those son Ooh, of a those baby. Sons I've of been bitches. on a wait list for about a year and a half. You're missing nothing. It's a bunch of it's a bunch of because uh, I looked at hers. It's a, I mean for guys it's terrible. Mm-hmm. It's just all um, Instagram models. Just Instagram models. And then and- for girls it's terrible because it's all like guys in hats who take photos of Instagram mm-hmm. models. <laughs> a lot of guys who take girls into the desert and mm-hmm. shoot photos of them naked and are like, oh. "This is art. This is art. I'm a serious photographer." Yeah, I dress like a cowboy. Uh, I'm from New York. But you were on there and you're a nice boy. <laughs> no, exactly. I'm there's uh a lot of comedians are on it. Like all, everybody from SNL was on it. Mm-hmm. And it's a lot of like running into your friends and being like this is so fun. Yeah. <laughs> I love seeing a friend on a dating app and swiping right just to see what they oh, are going to do I'm back always, to me. If I see a friend, you're getting that. You're getting the like. Yes. So you were on Raya. Were you on Tinder and Bumble? No, and Hinge I and- was dating a girl for a, b- before all that happened mm-hmm. um, for a while. We got engaged and then that ended. Um, that- Did you meet her in real life? Yeah. Okay. I met her at a party. It was very romantic. She was just a very beautiful girl. And I just picked up a leaf uh, and I was like, you dropped this leaf. And oh, she was like, my God. Yeah, and she's like, OK. And um, <laughs> then she just kind of like was like, whatever. And then, like later, uh, I saw, like I saw her. Again. I was like, "Where's the leaf?" And then she's like, "Dude, I'm not keeping a fucking leaf." And then um, <laughs> I asked her out or whatever. And then we ended up. It was it was good, and we had got engaged like mm-hmm. years later. And then that went real south, and I was very sad. Sure, that is a true great pickup line. Well, I mean, it you was dropped just, a it leaf. It was just outside. I was Where's like, your yeah. leaf? Yeah, I was. I have always had uh, too much confidence, probably. Mm-hmm. Well, it's a confidence thing, but then it's also like you're funny and it's an adorable thing to be like you dropped a leaf because it's like there's no way I carry leaves around. That's, right. well, that's also, wild. It was just like, how do I talk to this person? Uh-huh. Um, yeah. Like when I used to ask girls out randomly, it was always uh, the you just have to you just can't be a creep about it. Mm-hmm. You just have to be very pleasant and also standoffish. So it's not sure. aggressive because the girl I dated before her, I met in a liquor store. <laughs> and I was like, you got dope pants. We should go on a date. Uh-huh. And then we ended up going to Hawaii like a week later. That's. That was great. Great. Yeah. So those, but th- both of those relationships ended very sadly. Well, here's why. They started so cutely. Exactly. Yeah. Very, very cute. If someone was like, you dropped a leaf, my pussy would be immediately wet. And I'd be like, <laughs> we have to fuck. Sure, sure. That's adorable. Yeah, yeah. Let me slowly drain this man's life. <laughs> So you were dating someone when you moved to New York for a job. Did she move to New York with you or did yeah, you long Yeah, we distance? had been dating for about three weeks before I moved to New oh, York. Oh, shit. That was the leaf girl. And then I, we moved to New York together. Together, okay. Well, I was there like two months before I convinced her to mm-hmm. come. And that was the worst decision of my life. To bring someone with you. Yeah. Yeah, okay, fair. I this guess is what I've that. learned. I've talked two girls into moving different places. Uh-huh. And then the resentment builds up because mm-hmm. I'm busy. And, and they didn't uh, want to leave their friends and, and their it, lives. And it, and, it, and it ends in just a disaster. Okay, so now I know. If I meet someone online who lives in Kentucky, he's got to stay in Kentucky. Exactly. You go to them. Yes, I move to Kentucky. I yes. leave everything behind. A hundred percent. Okay, I want you to look at my Tinder profile okay. and tell me if you think You do Tinder, not Bumble? Everybody I know does Bumble. Well, I don't have a good time on Bumble. Okay. Let's on see. Bumble, I'll meet with or I'll match dudes and I'll message them and then they won't message me back. Hmm. And I'm like, why? What was what was the point? OK, well, first of all, funny picture. Thank cute you. Picture. Also, I didn't know you were 28. I didn't I'm know. not. I don't know how to change it on like <laughs> Facebook won't let me change it again. The reason why I'm it says not. I'm 28 <laughs> is because the Internet didn't know how old I was sure. and I didn't want 
to go into an audition, I have someone be like, oh, she's too old. She's 30. Yeah, yeah. So I changed it, and now I can't change it back. So I just <laughs> I tell people almost immediately. Yeah, no, that, that's great. Um, it's great. It's has some has people described this before? Yes, but please describe you, it. You're wearing a monster shirt, holding what uh, to me looks like a very average sized penis. <laughs> um, uh, it's, it's great. That's a fun, flirty opening. Ah, yeah. Uh, you got your bio. Um, I got a fat ass. So if you're not into that, bye bye. Mm-hmm. I like people with a sense of humor because life is too fucking long not to laugh. It's so long. Yeah. DTF down to figure skate or fuck or farm or fly a kite, whichever is easier. Okay. I like all that. My. My Raya profile was just since the app is so intense, I go, my, all it said about me was, this app is chill. Uh, <laughs> That's funny. I'm because, kind of the less is more. Yes, that makes sense. Because Raya, I've seen it people on other people's People try so hard. Phones, yeah. But it's a slideshow that you pick the song. It's so. And a song People plays. curate it. It's so oh, terrible. it's wild. Yeah. Uh, okay. So then you, then it's you and a Christmas tree. How fun is that? Look at this person. She likes to have fun. Oh, it's a selfie, which I like. It's just like, look at me. This is, where are you at in this selfie? Uh, that looks like a dressing room? Yeah, it's a dressing room, so you know I work. <laughs> sure, but I don't know. That the, <laughs> I work in dressing rooms, and I'm not even sure this is a dressing room. It's the nicest trailer I'd ever that's, been in. Yeah, that's what it looks it like It was so apartment. nice. It was stunning. Where were you working when you did That this? was the MTV Movie Awards. No one has ever gotten me a room that nice again. Yeah. You know what the best craft services I've ever had was Adam Devine's house party. Really? Yeah, and I've worked on like good shows, uh-huh. but Adam, and that was the first thing I ever did <laughs> and they had a mountain dew slushy machine oh a my dude they're making really? hot dogs yeah it's because the production budget we shot it in chatsworth uh-huh. i did the first season oh so they shot it in la mm-hmm. they had so they didn't use any budget <laughs> so then they, yeah because everyone just drove up there yeah, there was no hotel i did it and i i took a fucking lunch break from my real job to go shoot it that's wild yeah and then uh went back but then the next seasons they went to fucking new orleans, new orleans and, yeah and then Hawaii, Use I was like, that "What the budget. hell?" Yeah, I was like, "That kind of Chats- sucks." Yeah, but either way, uh, so that, I like that photo. You're working. Oh, here's one showing off dad ass. Oh yeah, baby, you gotta yeah. see what you're about to buy. Yeah, yeah, and you're climbing a bookshelf, <laughs> so you know I'm educated. Or you're bad at moving in this one. <laughs> you have no books on I- that bookshelf. <laughs> I have no idea how to move a bookshelf. Yeah, uh, you take the books out first. You break it. Um. Okay, and now, oh, this one is fun. You are in a heart, but it looks like you're keeping the heart from collapsing on mm-hmm. you. That's good. That chair doesn't look comfortable at all. It was not. Where is this at? That was in Australia at Madame Tussauds uh, Wax Fucking Center. In Sydney? In Sydney, Australia. I was just in Australia with my lady. And did you like it, and where did you go? We were in Melbourne. Okay. Um, Ooh, you said that with a real good accent. Well, they fucking lose it if you say Melbourne. Melbourne. You say Melbourne. You, you can't pronounce the R. They get furious. Uh, <laughs> so it's Melbourne, and then I went. Then we went up to um, these national parks called Noosa Heads. It was oh, really that's cool. Nice. It was like I don't know. It was it was really nice. It was. It's cool. nice, but also can't you just go to Santa Monica and get the same view? That's what I said, and someone yelled at me there. A little bit, but I love traveling. In photography, sure. so I was renting car and going all over the place. That's nice. Yeah. It was- also, you guys, you got to look at Brooks's Instagram because you can if you want. He's got great pictures of these fabulous vacations he goes on. Well, they're all they're not. Oh, are just, you working? They're. It's how I stay out of trouble when I tour. There you go. So it's not like a vacation. I'm doing stand up uh-huh. and during the day, and st- I don't like hotel rooms. They make me sure. sad. I'll find the nearest national park and bail to it. That's honestly. A great piece of advice because when I'm on the road, I get so like I get so sad, lonely, so lonely, sad. so sad. And there's so- days that I don't talk to anybody before I get on stage, and I'm like, "This is we're having. This is it. This is yeah. where this is the whole no, conversation." No, I leave as soon as I can. I go to the whatever I can see, and because I like photography, mm-hmm. and then it makes me happy, and then the happiness translates into the later that night's performance. Smart. Yeah. Maybe I'd have better performances if I just like went out. Yeah, do what you if like I'm to do. With someone like if I have a feature who, if you don't know, a feature is someone who does like twenty minutes before you do your hour. Uh, when I have a feature that I know, I'll yeah. be like, let's go out and do something. It's so fun traveling 
with a, with a friend. Yeah, that's the best. Yes. Do you know Mateo Lane? I love him. I have him open for me, feature yeah. for me, and it's the fucking best. Because we'll be in like the middle of Cincinnati and be like, I don't know, let's figure out something fun to do. Oh, it's so fun. Yeah, I have a friend for each part of the country, really. Um, Carl Hess Ugh. is what I'm doing. Cause, He's a nice man. Because I always... I hope you don't make Mateo pay for his flights when he does it. I have him pay for his flights, and then I double what the club gives him. Okay, that's good. Because um, I always feel bad making people pay for the flight. So I have like mm-hmm. people where I meet them around uh. the country. So West Coast is Carl Hess. Mm-hmm. Super fun guy. I loves outdoors. Midwest is this guy, Matty Ryan. He lives in Chicago. We started I think I together. Know him. He's great. He's redhead. He's super funny. Yeah, I met him once or twice. He's super fun. And then on the East Coast, it kind of switches, but I really like with Shane Torres a lot. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's great. But he's like a headliner now. He's awesome. That's nice. Uh, that's okay. nice to have people in different parts of the country. Yeah, because I- See, that's nice. I can't See, be alone, yeah. man. That's all it is. But also, I won't make Mateo fly anywhere if it's more than like a $300 flight. I'm like, if yeah, it's like you're it, coming out of pocket too much, like, I'll exactly, find something Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, cause I'm, yeah. And I'm not making enough to, to cover a lot, you know? Yeah. That's why like, I'll, if I'm making good money, clubs are, it's hard to make good money in a club. It is so tough and it's the most work. It's the most work because then you have to promote it or whatever. And they give you the base and then you get a percentage of the door yeah, after and, you sell And then out. a lot of those people aren't necessarily your fans. They just no. go to comedy clubs. Yes. That's why I like doing small music venues and small tours like mm-hmm. that. I think I might start doing that because... It's more control, I think, and it's, then you have people who actually like you. The shows are so much better, mm-hmm. but it is so much more of a gamble monetarily. Yes. And uh, you're driving and you're tour managing. So it's like, because I did like a 56-city tour. Holy shit. Yeah, and that's where my engagement imploded. Um, yeah, I could imagine. That's not, wild. Yeah, it was not. I would say not my fault. No. Um, I tried very hard to stay in contact, mm-hmm. uh, but it was a way out for this person. Sure, yeah. Um, but uh, I, it, it sucked. Like, so, but it was, the shows were great. Mm-hmm. Um, also, but I went to some weird places. I tried to go to, like, where I felt like they didn't get a lot of comedy like we do. Uh-huh. Like, I'm like, you guys probably don't get, like, you know, quote, unquote, new com. Like, where did you, all, where did, where's the, weird, the weirdest place you went? Like, we went to, like, Mobile, Alabama. Sure. Hattiesburg, Mississippi. Sure. New Orleans. How did those like, shows go? They were sm- they were small but fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that was great. Um, actually, Hattiesburg was pretty good. Like New Orleans, we went to Memphis, Nashville. Mm-hmm. Like it was called the Central America tour. That's nice. Uh, yeah, we did, that was a bunch. And then I did uh, the Ocean's Rule tour, which is I did the coast. <laughs> and it turns the out, Ocean's Rule. Yeah, it turns out bigger cities uh-huh. put our actually better shows who could yeah, guess man. there's thought, more people here yeah. there's more people who speak your language yeah, who, like, like, who, who could have known i do better in san francisco <laughs> than mobile i went to memphis and bombed the hardest where did I've you perform in memphis bombed. not a venue it was a school it was the university oh, of memphis okay. they were not there for comedy i don't know what the fuck yeah. they showed up for but like 15 minutes in, I was like, you guys got to either like get on board or like, I don't know, we got to work something out. Yeah. And I was I, like, what do you want? Crowd work? Then I brought a kid up on stage. They fucking love that. And I was like, are we good? Can I go back to material? And they were like, yes. And then they were truly like, no. And I was 45 minutes in. I was like, guys, I still have so much longer to be up here. <laughs> and it's already going so poorly. Yeah. Memphis is where my ex fiance broke it off for good. She was like, we can't talk anymore. And then I was so sad, but had a, I don't remember the show, but I do remember I made out with a Memphis Grizzlies cheerleader that night. There we go. And I was like, this ain't all bad. <laughs> but in the morning I was like, it's, it's still bad. bad. It's really bad. Yeah. <laughs> do you stay single for very long? Um, or are you a serial monogamist? I stayed single. It's usually about a year after a true disaster. Okay. It was two years after that one before I started dating my current current girlfriend. But so two years. But we, me and ex fiance, dated again oh. in the middle after she was okay. done with her other dude. Oh. Uh, and then I was stupid and was like, "That's okay. Forget All about right. that. Come yeah. on down. Yeah, exactly. The exactly. price is right now." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she's like, gonna do it again. I go, oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I should have known. All History's the work I did. Repeating itself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, back to your oh, yes. Tinder profile. Oh, yes. My Tinder profile. Um, oh, now you got one with a dog. That's my she dog. Likes, that's your dog? Yeah, his name's Clyde. He's uh, a little stinker. Yeah, he's cute as heck. And 
You said he bites, but he doesn't look like he's going to hurt when he bites. No, he doesn't hurt you. Oh, but, that's, uh, that's good. He likes to bite the back of your ankle to be like, can we move a little faster? These are great. Oh, so you're a fan. I'm finished. Yeah, I'm, yes. This I is finished. A, this is a swipe right, right? I've never, it's swipe right and left, right? Like, what's, uh, swipe right yes. is good. Right is good, left is bad. Yeah, on Raya, it's a heart. Oh, or an see, X. that's, <laughs> yeah. I love you, I want to kill you. Exactly. That's uh, Raya. I just, I just want to get in there. It's almost like you're getting, not missing anything. That's what people say, but that's like going to Montreal. I still haven't been to Montreal what? just for laughs. You've never and I been want to go. No, you are missing something, Montreal. I love Montreal. <laughs> Every year I don't go, I'm like, the fuck? They won't let me go. They're like, no, and they won't let me on Raya. Those are the uh, two things in my life that I want that people are actively keeping me from. Well, I'm sure you'd be glad to know one of the guys who works higher up in Montreal, not any of the people that we would deal with, uh-huh. he went down for sexual harassment. Oh, so, dang. Yeah. So there you go. You can go home happy. That's wild. Everyone's going down. Matt Lauer, uh, Matt he Lauer just went, went down. down. I read that he had a uh, he had a button. He had a button that to he lock could the lock door. his door at his fucking desk, Ugh. which is like someone at NBC said seems reasonable. Sure, you don't need to get up to lock a door. Oh my god! You know what? Let's say yes, and you could spend a shit ton of money doing that. He had a Mr. Burns button. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, but I think it's a good profile. I, I, Thank I, you. That's a swipe right. Why do you think? Okay, here's a question. Okay. Have you ever spoken to someone for days on end, like, I don't know, a week, and then when that person asked you out, just deleted them? No, I'm very forward. Okay. Like, I'm like, let's, like, if I, I'm like, let's go on a date. Like, it's okay. literally a just very forward. You're cute. Let's go on a date. Okay. Um, We're very similar in that. I don't yeah. see a point in prolonging talking to someone if I'm feeling something. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I've I've not done that. Uh I've like seen people for a few weeks and then mm-hmm. been like may Do you tell them or do you ghost them? No, I always tell them. See, I'll make that's some up. Nice. I, it's always my fault, you know, it's always never uh, their fault. Sure, why yeah. not? Why not just tell someone it's their fault though? Um cuz I'm a coward. <laughs> I'll yeah. tell people, uh, I went on a date with a man who was not, he didn't look like his pictures and he was like very boring. And I told him, he was like, do you want to like go out again? I was like, actually, no, I don't. Yeah. Sorry, this isn't working for me. You're not what I thought you were. And he was like, wow. And I was like, ah, I don't know. Wow. That's it. That's, <laughs> that's, that's why. Yeah. Okay, Brooks, we're going to get right back into this, but we got to take a little break. Commercial break. And we're back. What a dream. Oh, my gosh. I'm buying those products. <laughs> oh, me too. I love all products. So we were talking about- I love about... Squarespace. <laughs> or whatever it was. I was just saying was. Squarespace- Blue Apron rules. Is on every podcast. Yeah. And Blue Apron, truly, Blue Apron is too much work. Blue Apron is so much work, but I will say when I was in my- um, New York relationship, I think it prolonged our relationship ah, because it gave us an activity to, to do together. Do. And in New York in the winter, you're inside. You're inside and you are just on top of each other. Uh huh. Yeah. So we would make dinners and it was See, nice. See, that's nice. I used to, well, I've never had a live in boyfriend, but I live with a gay man. We would make dinner together and it'd be nice. It's so so fun. And it's what I imagine a relationship to yeah. be like. Making dinners together is so fun. I had a place in Silver Lake where I had a backyard Ooh, and nice. a grill mm-hmm. and like a picnic table and we would just grill and I had a garden and we'd make the vegetables. Oh, that's yeah. nice. It was the dream. I have a, a lime and lemon tree at my place and that's just nice. I don't grill it, but like it's fresh oh, limes and lemons it's so are just fun. so nice. It's so fun. It's nice yeah. to go in my backyard and be like, I have food here. Yeah. <laughs> if the apocalypse happens, I'm going to get citrus uh, Yeah. I'm not doing well, but I don't have scurvy. <laughs> I got no scurvy. Yeah. And then there's snap peas. It's great. Ooh, I fucking love it. Speaking of what pirates get, uh, a girl that I was dating gave me scabies one that's time. That's disgusting. That was the girl I met in the liquor store parking lot. Who could guess? I mean, truly, that's if this is true, what else is true? Yeah, I got a bunch so, of... They're skirt- itchy skin mites. Ew. Scabies are their skin mites? Skin mites. Can you see them crawling on your skin? No, but you have bumps 
uh, from like where they're burrowing. Oh, gross. Yeah. It's like on the inside of the webs of your hand. Oh, my God. And then on God. your thigh. Yeah. It was brutal. And, and they, how do you get rid of those? You have to do a full body, um, like, uh, like a cream all over your body uh-huh. and then just fucking get rid of everything in your apartment. Ugh. But it takes. Uh, six weeks for him to show up and she'd already she ghosted me oh no yeah she was already gone before I realized I had it and I was like no that's the worst ghosting she literally is haunting you like a yeah. fucking ghost she showed up out of nowhere it was like this the worst breakup but I like admire her I liked this version of the breakup what okay. she did much more than what how fiance and I split uh-huh. I respect this one okay. she showed up uh, at like six in the morning, she'd been like <laughs> clubbing or she was on Molly or something. Uh, and she just goes, we have different spirits. And uh, I was like, I'll change mine. Uh, oh, no. no. And then she left and I never saw her again. And I like, at le- I told you, wow. I respect that. I kind of like it. But also I hate that she literally dumped bugs into your skin. Yeah, she did. She did do that. That is the grossest thing. I never think about that. Like, if you get into a relationship with somebody, they can leave your life and leave you with things. Scurv, or what is it? Scabies. Scabies. Or herpes. Yeah. Or gonorrhea. Sure. Or, you know. Yeah. No, it was it was a bummer. I was like, I'm so itchy and I miss that girl. Oh, no. Yeah. So it, you're just like fucking scratching yourself, looking out a window, being like, will she ever come back? A hundred percent. Yeah. I remember. Yeah. Like, I was like. Uh, she likes snakes and I hate snakes. And mm-hmm. I was like, I'll go to a pet store. I'll hold a snake and I'll show her that I'm not afraid of oh, snakes. And, yeah. I was so pathetic. That's very sweet though. Oh uh, yeah. But she was, she was uh, a, a real, here was a red flag. She was 26. We were both 26 and uh-huh. she'd already been proposed to three times. Oh wow. She was just like this. Like, was she beautiful? She was just like a pixie girl who sure. would just like bop around uh-huh. and like came from like tremendous wealth uh, so had no, never had any, what a uh, dream. never had any, um, like problems or anything. So she was just like always fun. And we like went to her family's house on Maui uh-huh. and like broke in. Oh and, my God. Yeah. And I was like, just an idiot from Iowa. And I was like, this is amazing. No, any idiot from anywhere would be like, this yeah. is amazing. If I could live for a week as someone, I would choose a pixie like woman who comes from like a stupid amount of money and oh. just blow it and just like live for a fucking week. So much money. Oh, yeah. I, I think would she got- fucking break people's hearts oh, and I yeah. would get on my private jet and go places. So she oh. had so much, but she lived like in like a commune. She was like, what? Yeah. Like she was just a weirdo, Brooks, like super, cru- so many super crusty red flags, super crusty. Yeah. Had a, had a shaved head cause she just had <laughs> dreadlocks. Oh God. Yeah. Yeah. This you, it sounds like you found a homeless woman who lied to you about the money she had. Yeah. No, you would. Yes. You would think, um, but I was into it. Fair. Yeah. She was, uh, she was cool. Was her pussy dirty? That's a rude question. Um, no, I mean, it might have been. I don't know. She had scabies, but it was good. I don't know. <laughs> she was cool. Might have been. She had bugs, but well, uh, yeah. I, had, I had just gotten out of a seven-year relationship. Seven years is a very long time. So the next person you meet is very exciting. Sure. That yeah. makes sense. Because I dated this other girl from when I was um, 18 to 25. That's crazy. That is that is your youth. That is right. So next girl I meet, I'm like, I don't care if you if you're crazy. You you seem cool. Here's a question. So after seven years, you get out of a relationship. Did you question who you were as just a person alone? No, I I was. It was one of those things where we become like roommates and friends. We mm-hmm. went to high school together, and so I knew what I was doing. I was pursuing comedy yes. so hard, and I think she was questioning who she was, mm-hmm. uh, and that's why we split. And it was like one of those splits that I was sad, but Mm -hmm, it was very necessary. Yeah. Okay. So you date an actor, a comedian now. Do you ever feel in competition at all or no? Oh, Because you guys are very, very different in the same world. We helped each other both audition uh, recently for the same pilot different ah. parts and then she tested for it and i did uh-huh. it and that was the only time i was like wait a second <laughs> i feel like i worked harder on that so you just have more genuine talent than me yeah Ooh, that's a tough yeah that's an interesting 
That's an interesting thing to have yeah. to audition for the same thing but different parts. Yeah, and like we were the same, like, same role. I mean, not same role, but, but like same, our characters same, were yeah. interacting and stuff. Um, but other than that, no, I don't, there's no competition. She won. Uh, mm-hmm. She's much more <laughs> successful than I am. Uh, so I don't, there's no competition. She definitely, she just won. She won. And she well, works much harder than you me. You came too. into it with a different level of. Yeah, I'm, I'm a stand up and she is like a, a self. She's got her own little yes. empire that uh, she created. Yeah, it's her career is great. It's very inspiring. It's when it's I see how hard she works, incredible. I'm like, what the fuck? Because it is a lot of work. She does a lot of YouTube content. So you have yeah. to like fucking put up a video every fucking it's week. Comment. Yeah, no, she, if she not, has like five twice a week. A- that's crazy. Five well edited videos that are funny and unique a week right now. That is insane. It's that is so much. That's so like much doing. Work. Wait, five a week, and how long are they? Like five the, minutes. A five piece? to seven minutes. Yeah, she's putting out like a, a new half hour every week. It's fucking. That's nuts. insane. Yeah, yeah, it's very. Yeah, crazy. I don't work. I don't work. No, I don't know anyone who, that. That's who does. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, but also we're working on a TV show together right now. Ooh, that's, so that's exciting. So that's fun. That is fun. Yeah. So you do stand up. You do a ton of stand up. We're on the same shows all the time. Yes. Uh, do you have you ever had chuckle fuckers? You do. You must. You're well, very good looking and you're funny. I've never, I've never slept with anyone on the road. Really? Uh, because I'm usually in these relationships. Oh, okay. Uh, and um, I have a problem where if somebody thinks I'm cool you know what that's not true i've slept with people on the road but never they're people who work at the club oh okay uh or are in that city that i know Uh never somebody who i've never met okay it's like a fan because if somebody likes me and they're just a fan i'm like i don't even like me you're crazy (laughs) uh Uh, what about you do you ever get do you ever get it on on the road nope because there are no male chuckle fuckers oh yeah i never thought about that there's never I've never been on the road and encountered a dude who was like, oh, you're so funny. I just want to, like, be near you. Sure. I've had, like, at a South by Southwest, I had a dude who worked in a bar who knew who I was. It wasn't from a show. He just knew yeah. who I was. He was just like, oh, let me get you a drink. And I was like, oh, okay. And then as I was leaving, he's like, man, I wish you were staying longer. And I was like, ugh, a little creepy, but yeah, I, yeah. I get what you're trying to do. And he was like, the only one. I've only had like maybe two other people. Yeah, festivals are different because it's a lot of people in the, that you know, yes. kind of. Yeah, and that, so yeah, they're not like fans. They're just no, people no, no. It's get. just like people who are in the same world who like maybe are on a different level or yeah. like yeah, it was yeah. Like the funnier yeah. die part. So like it was just like a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. And when the whole time I was on SNL, I was in a super committed relationship. Mm-hmm. So those parties were just like I'm sure that happens there, but not. But then again, maybe not because I feel like everyone no, who's at that party there. is. You there's think a, there's an after after party that gets loose. I've never gone to the after after party. That's the fun one. My friend who worked there would never ever want to go. Well, I get it. Um, I shared an office with her. Mm-hmm. Uh, with Sashir. Um, I understand getting over that. I was like over it towards. Well, and I was. I think. Well, Sashir was a little over the show. Uh, I don't know. If, I maybe that's not okay to say, but I wasn't. I was like jamming, having fun. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's a very interesting place to work at, I would assume. It's insane. Yeah, and you have it's like very nobody's mean, but you have your set of friends that you mm-hmm. hang out with. I would say it seems clicky from being an outsider looking in. It's super incredibly clicky. clicky and uh I loved the four or five guys I hung out with mm-hmm. and they're still my very close friends that they all made that show Detroiters mm-hmm. and then uh and then Jost and um Che, where the other guys that were always hanging out are on update. Mm-hmm. So like very uh, funny dudes. Yeah, all funny guys. So but like we all love drinking. Yeah. That's I think you kind of bind yeah. you bond with whoever like we I bond with the guys who like mm-hmm. to stay up drinking. So Yeah. See, for me, I think that would be a fun part of the job because it's everything's at night. Yeah. I'm like a little vampire. I don't need to live during the day. Sure. And then it's like, oh, we get to stay up and drink till 6 a.m., sleep, and then try to be funny at night? That's Ugh. for me. Yeah, but you get to stay up, drink till 6 a.m., and then wake up at 10 and go, I got no ideas. <laughs> I have no uh, ideas. What's comedy? Yeah. I don't even know. I have burned through every idea <laughs> I've ever had. I do miss New York. Do you miss New York? Did you like um, being there? You know, 
I miss sitting on my. I had a fire escape that mm-hmm. I would sit on and drink wine, mm. uh, and and read books, and that That's felt nice. so wonderful. I was just like watch crime and read books. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I lived in a six floor walk up, and there was a fire escape out of my window when I lived in New York, and we would sit out there, smoke cigarettes, drink wine, and it was just like perfect. Yeah, New York in the spring, in the fall is perfect. It's like, oh my gee, it's just yeah. it's like a fucking wet dream. But then then in the winter i was it's like brutal. get me the fuck out of here the winter's brutal was, there's no sun ever it's fucking freezing yeah. you have to go live your life in the snow yeah. i remember the first time it rained here i was like do people work in the rain in LA? Yeah. do we leave our homes yeah. turns out you do yeah but but you but are you in traffic do. yeah you're yeah. just sitting in traffic it's yeah. the, it's wild how long have you been in la i moved here in 2009 and then i got snl in 2013 so then i moved to new york mm-hmm. And then I left New York in early 2015 and moved back here. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've been here. So I've, I guess I've lived here like six years That's on nice. and off. That's not. Nice. I love it. I like camping so much. So I like, I like California. I don't necessarily uh-huh. love Los Angeles. Sure. Um, and I don't, I wouldn't, I didn't, I was never single in New York, but mm-hmm. I imagine it's easier to hook up with people. It is so much easier. Yeah. Cause everybody's you go out. go to a bar. Everyone's getting drunk. And everyone lives within that area. Yes, and then everyone's like happy to make a friend. I feel like here people are like, mm, I don't really want to be your friend unless you like know somebody who can like help me out. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, it, I would imagine it's much harder out here. I imagine New York is would be almost too easy. It's so easy. Yeah. You can get fucked any night of the week in New York. Here, ugh, people are like, I gotta go. I have to, you know, do yoga in the morning. It's sure. Like, Everyone's very health. This is not a drinking town. Oh, yeah. No, you're telling me. It's a bummer. Yeah. When I moved to New York, I'm like, I'm fitting in. When I move out here, they're like, I have someone you should talk to. Yes. Yeah. And you're like, I'm just honestly having the time of my life. Oh, man. You're making me want to open a beer now. And I'm like hungover because last <laughs> night was my friend Carl Hess's <laughs> birthday. And I'm, I was just like, well, it's Carl's birthday. But that's how you get over a hangover. You know, a hangover is just alcohol withdrawal. Yeah, but I have to. And dehydration. I it's need, like a combo. When I'm hungover, I don't get work done. So it, I can't yeah, be hungover yeah, yeah, on a yeah, yeah. Wednesday. Okay. All right. And then roll it into like, well, now it's the weekend. <laughs> well, now it's Thursday. We can start it. Let's drink. Yeah. And I've, I just, ha- yeah, I've got some shit Friday that I have to be focused for. Fair. Yeah. I went on a date with a dude and I brought a bottle of wine in my purse and like two little cuppies. And I was like, let's have like a romantic viewing of this movie. Yeah. And he truly was like, what are you doing? What? And I was like, get out. Oh, uh, get out. we could just drink this. And he's like, no, you like, why, you can't just like sit and watch a movie. And I was like, oh, it's not a, a matter of like sitting through. I can this sit is, through a movie. I am upset with I this man. I just want to like, it yeah. was a cute, fun, sneaky thing I, I did. I would have been so happy. I right? Like, this is amazing. I found my soulmate. Right? I That's took, what I thought. Yeah. I took wine and cups into three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri or whatever mm-hmm. at the Vista last Saturday night Mm -hmm. and me and Grace drank those and had the fucking time of our lives. Then we went to Good Luck Bar afterwards to discuss the movie. I don't like Good Luck Bar. Yeah, but it's just- Their drinks are a little watered down. Uh, I just drink beer. And also, also there's fun. only one bartender, and it's a fucking circle. Yes, and he Service is, is always busy. Yeah. Uh, but it's just nice, like, right after that movie, I live, like, right mm-hmm. next to the Vista, so. Oh, that's great. Oh, that's yeah. a good area. Yeah, we just walk over, bop that's around. Nice. It's nice. That's very nice. I like bop it. In, bop out, you know. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> Wait, what movie did you say? It's called Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri or something. Oh, it's new. It's got like, I think, Francis McDormand. McDormand. Yeah. She's uh, she's great in it. Woody Harrelson's great in it. What is it? Her daughter's dead and she puts up billboards mm-hmm. to say, you're she's not like, doing a good job. She's like, they're not trying. Yeah. Honestly. It's good. Fun. Yeah, it was a fun movie. I, but I really enjoyed drinking at movies. It's like, I love oh. drinking at movies. When yeah. the arc light was like, we have wine now. I was like, boom. Oh, my boom. gosh. I Game have, changer. I have. Talk about a a fuck up story. Oh, um, tell me. I went, I read this book uh, I really like called um, The Lost City of Z. Okay. Uh, and then the, a movie came Brad out. Brad Pitt stars Brad, in it. No, Brad Pitt produced it. Oh, okay. And I, I, I'm uh, like, get invited sometime, sometimes to premieres and yeah. I never go, but I was like, I love this movie. Uh-huh. I'm going to go. I was single. I took my friend, uh, Kale, who, um, oh, no, not Kale. Who did I take? Uh, 
um, either way, it, does, it doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. With Clay, my buddy Clay and I went, and um, that's the time we found out that you could take beer into the movie, uh-huh. and it's a fucking premiere. And we're <laughs> s- we got so drunk beforehand, and then we sit down, and this um, actress sits right next to me, mm-hmm. who's really cute and is very famous, uh-huh. and she brought her friend, and uh, I was like, I had. Candy I snuck in. I was like, would you guys like some Sour Patch Kids? And she like laughs, laughs and I'm like, oh my God, uh-huh. this is perfect. Uh, and then stupid Iowa drunk Brooks is like, I left the movie no less than three times to get more beer during uh-huh. the premiere. Like uh-huh. Brad Pitt is behind me. <laughs> And I, I'm like, I'm just drunk, bopping around, like, and like, I'd read the book, and uh-huh. everybody in the movie's so handsome that I'm like, nobody looked like this in 1920. <laughs> and so like, I pull him up on my phone, I show the actress next to me, I'm like, check it out, look at these freaking, this is weird. She's like uh-huh. getting as far away from me in her seat as possible. <laughs> it was That's I fucked, I fumbled very, so hard. Very funny. But you start, you're very good at starting off a conversation adorable. Sure, but I fucked it up immediately. Do you she was like, Sour Patch Kids. Also, look at these fucking people in the 1920s. Yeah, I, go, I go, what is everyone in the 1920s fucking models? Yeah. yeah. And she was, I was, I was this girl. It was a woman who's been in a bunch of movies that I have such a crush on. And I was like, this is my end. And That's, I, I hope you run into it. her again and no. be like, wasn't that funny what happened? No, she's going to be like, I was holding mace. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting ready to attack yeah. you back because yeah. you were being too wild. Yeah. And then the next morning I texted Clay. I was like, was that movie good? He goes, I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, that's great. Yeah. I got very drunk during Lady Bird. I oh, with, which, where did you see it? Arc Light? At the Arc Light. I went with John Milheiser. Oh, I love my John. Roommate. Yeah, we were all with Fucking SNL, same amount uh-huh. of time. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I'm sure he has. You some... got used way more than him. I mean, we were both used. It was, oh, <laughs> this show's wild. Yeah. But uh, I had two bottles of wine in my purse and cups, and then. The there was a security guard at the arc light who was like, "Let me look in your purse." And oh I was like, no! What? It's Did, never happened before. No. And then she's like, "You can't have this." And I was like, "All right." So we went downstairs, shoved the wine in John's uh, uh sleeve. Yep. Went back up. She was like, "Good, you put it in the car." And I was like, "We put it in the car." Great. I cracked that open. Ooh, we drank La- the wine. Lady Bird looks great, by the way. I personally didn't like it. Oh, everybody dang. liked it. Uh. I thought it was good in parts. I sure. Just, yeah. I, don't I mean, know. it wasn't for me. I it think seems it, like it seems like kind it. of a privilege. It seems like a middle class white kid movie. Yes. That's how I was like, I can't. Yes. Like the movie Moonlight. I was like, I get why people like uh-huh. this, but I have nothing to grasp at. Yeah. I didn't grow up uh, like super poor in Florida. Uh, black and gay like versus <laughs> Manchester by the sea I was uh-huh. like I definitely could my burn people. my family down yeah <laughs> On accident. Like, I get this movie. Yeah, I also, I didn't love Manchester by the Sea. Why I was would like, you? Okay. I'm like, I'm like, Great. I know I can, Im- I can imagine doing what he did. I was just like, so this man has it so good and can't stop drinking and partying with his friends and burns up his kids. Of course, his wife is mad at him. Yeah, no. He burned up them kids. I'm like, I am, I am a fireplace away from that. <laughs> and then Moonlight, I was like, yeah, I got it. I kept being black and different <laughs> yeah, no. and having feelings that like you're not sure about. Yeah, no, and I liked Moonlight, but I was just like, I can't. This yeah, movie is not, like, this is not, I don't for know me. how to do yeah, this. Yeah, Lady Bird was not for me. I don't get the white experience of having adequate money, but wanting more money. Right, sure. Like, like Lady, I mean, did you see, um, uh, what uh oh, the Florida Project? No, I did not. But people it's keep telling me great. it's great. It's white moonlight. Oh, white moonlight. Yeah, okay, it's okay. poor white people in Florida. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't. This is gonna sound real hateful, but I don't need to watch movies about poor white people because I don't understand how you're poor. The system's built for you. Figure it out. Yeah, sure. Uh, look, just I don't know how to explain this movie. It's like a single mom. They live in like a the a uh, the projects uh-huh. outside Orlando, and her mom just. Can't figure it out. Mm. Yeah. I don't All know. right. I got to watch it. It's just Is shot that the well. arc light? I don't know. I'm a Los Feliz 3 guy. I love Los okay. Feliz 3. Okay. I love the Vista. I really like walking to a movie. I can't walk to, I live on Griffith Park Boulevard, so like nothing is very walkable for me. No. I guess I could walk like a mile and hit Hillhurst, a uh, mile and a half to Vermont. Yeah. Yeah, I could do that. You could. Yeah. I got so drunk at the Los Feliz 3 watching um, that Daniel Radcliffe movie where he's dead. 
Oh, I never saw it. It's good. I laughed, but also I was so drunk. I don't know. <laughs> I was like alone uh, laughing. We got to go see a movie together. Soon. <laughs> I saw the Entourage movie at the Los Feliz <laughs> 3. <laughs> what a dream. With Paul Britton, who uh-huh. is also on SNL. And we brought beers in and we were the only two people there. <laughs> I, ironically to be like how bad is this gonna be so we're clapping we're just oh. yelling and everyone's like quiet I'm trying to see what Vinny and the boys are getting into it sounds like we go to movies for the similar reasons yeah. you'd be like well, am I gonna giggle at yeah. how dumb this is oh man I love oh, it oh man saw the boy next door pretty wasted at the arc light have you ever, oh. have you ever been to iPix no, Grace I-Pix? introduced this to me it's a different it's the Raya of movie theaters oh it's like Thirty-five dollars. I okay. don't like it, uh, but I get why you would. You okay. go. You have. Um, it might even be more than thirty-five dollars. You have a fucking lazy boy recliner that goes all the way down. Uh-huh. A full dinner menu. Oh wait. Oh no. Oh, I haven't been to this. There's but- like Nighthawk or something in New York. Yeah. You can get dinner, but this is a different level. It's it's in Pasadena and it's downstairs. It's oh. so fancy. That I'm like, why are we even going why out? Why are we going to see a movie? Yeah, I was like, I like the movie. I like sitting there, <laughs> the popcorn. They, like, the, it's free popcorn, but well, I don't care. I went and saw Medea at a... It doesn't matter where. where was... It was great. <laughs> it was perfect. Yeah. Medea, Medea's Halloween. It was at a Universal City Walk. And uh, they have big old fucking reclining lounge chairs. Yeah. So I just like had my little vodka soda I brought with me. I was leaning back and was like, this is for me. I love it. I love getting drunk in a movie. Oh, uh, man. Yeah. When when the arc light allowed us to start bringing beers in, I'm like, Ugh. you are a genius. I had a dream. I had a thing one time in New York. I went to the AMC 13 or whatever in Union Square. Mm-hmm. And... Um, I had a backpack full of beer that never, <laughs> nobody, che- I, like, I don't know. It hadn't been checked, but the guy, the guy tearing tickets uh-huh. was, um, like, oh, not to be, he was like a special needs person. Sure. That's not um, rude. You tell me a fact. Right. And I was like, he's going to be a stickler. This is a stickler. <laughs> this is a guy who is actually going to do yes. his job. So, which is, he has a perf- a great job and he did a great job. And he mm-hmm. looked at my backpack. He's like, you can't have these. It was a six pack. Uh-huh. And I was like, can I like set them? In your little cubby that you have, uh-huh. like, you know, you're at a, he's at a thing. He's like, no. And I was like, uh-huh. okay, well, I'm going to put them behind this Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles uh-huh. uh, cutout. I was like, I'm going to put them back here and then I'm going to get them after my movie. And mm-hmm. he was like, I'm not responsible for those. I go, that's fine. Mm-hmm. And when I saw the movie and then afterwards they came out and a bunch of people saw a stranger <laughs> reach behind a Ninja Turtles <laughs> cutout and pull, and pull out, out beer. six beers and then just oh, leave. They're like, the fuck was that? I hope someone was like, that's true magic. Yeah, so exactly. So excited yeah, about it. Yeah, I, l- I really hope somebody saw it and was like, "Damn, Ninja Turtles are awesome!" <laughs> oh wow! Yeah. I wonder if there's more beer back yeah. there. Is that I a hope treasure? Someone cove? was just like looking back there to be yeah. like, "There has to be more beer." Oh yeah, all, all right, about Brooks, seeking. I have a question for you. Let's hear it. We've talked. We know each other not super well, but we know each other. Sure. Would you date me if you didn't have a girlfriend? Uh, yes, of course I would. Ah! Well, I would go on dates with you. I don't know if we date date. Okay. You know, because who knows? We sound like we would be a train wreck together. <laughs> it sounds yeah, like we would probably die. Yeah, it sounds like we would just constantly one up each other. Yeah. And, uh, and it- I will go there. I recently, I did a Power Hour podcast. I did not realize this because I blacked out during the last 25 minutes. What, where you take a shot of beer, a every, shot of beer every, every minute? minute for an hour. Yeah. I went to the bathroom, missed two drinks. Drink, so then I chugged a beer and then I had already had three vodka sodas before arriving oh boy. and then drank some Maker's Mark, took off my wig and took off my shirt. <laughs> so I'll tell you something. Uh, I'll go there. Also, this is the day before Thanksgiving and I didn't know I had taken off my wig or my shirt until today, <laughs> which is several days after Thanksgiving. Oh my god! And the best part was I was like, yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> like I wasn't yeah. like, oh my God, Nicole. I was like, yeah, that's, yeah, that's who I am. Yeah. Um, the other night, the night of that, I drank the wine in three billboards. I kept going with the wine, uh-huh. which I don't normally do. And I passed out on Grace's couch mm-hmm. and she slept in her bed and then woke me up in the morning. And my first words were, don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> and then my next words were, where are my things? <laughs> So she's like, I woke you up and you yelled, don't look at me. Where are my things? Because that's 
very funny yeah and i was like yeah oh boy i don't remember falling asleep she's like no you were just pounding wine i was like what are you doing yeah, sometimes you just have to do that. Well, I just forgot how much I liked wine. Yeah, you yeah. get excited. That's I why went... I don't drink hard alcohol because I drink all alcohol ah, at the same speed. Fair. I try to, in my brain, go, all right, if I have a vodka soda, have a cup of water. But I always forget. I had two friends in town. One is from Australia. One lives in Jersey. And it was Sunday, and I had to work at 6 a.m. on Monday. But I was like, I'll go easy. Yeah. We'll go to West Hollywood. We'll go at, like, 3 p.m. How can, how drunk can you get during the afternoon? Oh, boy, that sun will get you. The sun gets you. You're excited. I'm excited. It is 8 p.m., and I'm blacked out mm-hmm. at 8 p.m. Yeah. I'm in the bathroom peeing, and I hear a very faint, and I was like, who's got it? And this man appeared and he was like 20 for a bag. And I was like, I only have 14. He was like, deal. He's like, let's do some. I was like, my bag or yours? I'm cheap after he gives me a oh, deal on a bag of no. cup. So we do a little bit of his. And then it's 10 p.m. I get in my palm red. And she's like, stand outside in your yard and feel the earth. So now it's 11 you got p.m. Your palm I'm red wasted in front of my house with my feet in the grass and my friend John going, I don't know if I feel the earth. <laughs> It's be 5 a.m. still wasted and i'm like i gotta drive to van nuys <laughs> so i <laughs> drove as slowly as possible get to work my makeup artist sylvia is like girl are you okay and i was like i don't think so she's like lay down so she puts the makeup chair laying down and I guess I was so drunk that I couldn't lay down. I was hovering above the chair because I was like, where's the back of it? Oh, where's?" Man. And Sylvia goes, I didn't say anything because I was like, I don't think anything I'd say to you at that moment would be helpful. And then it was the longest 12 hours of my That's life. a nightmare. It was awful. Oh, geez Louise, yeah. I died in between every take. <laughs> yeah. That's brutal. Ooh, it was what, rough. One time... We went, I was shot, shot a travel show and we were in France, in mm-hmm. Paris, and uh, I got real drunk. My friend's band was playing in Paris randomly mm-hmm. from LA. I was like, holy shit. So I went and met up with them and they're like a cool hip band. And so afterwards we went to like David Lynch's underground Ooh. like nightclub called Silencio. But I was like really drunk and didn't mm-hmm. like French people. So I was like, <laughs> I was like, these guys think are so fucking cool. Like, I was like, this place fucking sucks. <laughs> and uh, my friend whose band was, he's like, this is actually like the coolest bar in France. <laughs> it's like very like it had like all these different rooms uh-huh. and it's a dungeon. I go fuck this. I'm going to McDonald's. I'm not forgetting my roots. So I'm not I, forgetting my so roots. So I stormed out of the place, and then I realized after I had McDonald's, I was like, uh oh, those are where my friends are. So I went to go get back in, and the guy was like, fuck you. Uh, and so I I, for, I didn't know the name of my hotel because it's in <laughs> French, and I forgot it, and I was drunk. I spent like hours walking around Paris being like, oh shit, how do I get home? We're (laughs) shooting the next day. Um, So then I was like, oh, and if I got sobered up enough to click to Uh be like, if I can get to the Moulin Rouge, I can get to my (laughs) hotel. So I just go to the Moulin Rouge and the sun's coming up and I walk into the hotel and I grab a coffee as the director and the producers are walking down the stairs and they're like, somebody's up early. And I go, let's have a day. (laughs) And I... The first hour was fine, and then I died. Died. You yeah. die. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. It sucks when you when your hangover hits you at, like, 11 a.m., and you're like, I have so much more day to live. Yeah. Ooh, I was just wait. laying in the production van, and they were like- <laughs> Let's we- have a day. Yeah. Look, they were like, ooh, you're up early. I thought you were going to meet up with your friends. I go, we had a mellow night. I have, I have not been in my room yet. That is- so funny yeah it's but uh, then you're just just so sad at like oh, noon you're like <sighs> yeah and you're like if i drink something i'm gonna puke but i need to drink something yeah yeah if I'm, i lay down i'm gonna puke I'm, my I'm, head is pounding i pitched them i was like i was like i think i should be drinking wine in this <laughs> shot yeah <laughs> <laughs> and they're like i don't know and i was like i just think i, I should be. i think it'd be good i think it'd be good for my, my yeah, body I'm and in, the show i'm and in everything. paris yeah yeah uh Midway at like 5 p.m. or no, maybe it was like 3 or 4, the prop master, Charlie, was like, do you want vodka or something? And I was like, that would be good for me. <laughs> so I just like sipped on a little vodka and was like, okay, she's back, baby. Oh, this is For great. like 45 minutes. And then I was like, I need more. <laughs> so it's just like slowly just sipping. On- 
Oh, it was bad. This is the funniest. It was bad. Yeah. Oh, man. I you... missed uh, Mexican Day at lunch because I couldn't look at it. Right. Oh, oh it that's was, so funny. It was brutal. And I'm not hungover anymore just laughing and talking about these stories because I'm like, man, we, I didn't drink like that at all last night. I'm fine. <laughs> Oh, man. Brooks, thank you so much for doing this. This was a delight. What thank a you. fucking treat. Yeah, sorry. Also, Brooks has a podcast called... In Tree Level. And uh, uh, you talk about jobs comics yeah. had before becoming yeah, comedians. Yeah, it's just all about the jobs people had, like comics or musicians had, before they um, could quit those jobs and mm-hmm. become full-time in that career. And it's really funny because nobody ever gave a fuck about... Because <laughs> once you know you want to do something, yeah, everything like, else is everything just else. to get money. Yeah, yeah, and, to like uh, to like fulfill the the drug of of performing. Yeah, performing is so stupid, and it's something I like have to do. Oh, just God. gotta do it. Yeah. Also, Brooks has a Twitter and Instagram. Sure, yeah, check at out Brooks that. Wheelan. Sure, it's all very funny. He performs oh, yeah, all Nicole's over gonna, LA. She's gonna be on my podcast. I'm gonna be on that podcast. So oh, you yeah. better fucking listen to hear my voice some more. Yeah. Also, if you like Why Won't You Date Me, please subscribe to it and rate it on iTunes or wherever you listen to That's podcasts. That's important. Please. It's you, very important. This is free. And Nicole's doing yes, it. So just give it for give free. It, and I just want you to the like button. it. Just hit the five press stars. The five stars. And, and uh, it sincerely helps it get heard yes, by more people. Yes. And it bumps it. And then people promote it. Do it, it right now. We're talking to you. Yeah. Also, if you uh, write a review where you hit on me, I'll read it. If you say something like, ooh, Nicole, them toes are great. I'll read it out loud. Because I just figured out today I'm on a foot encyclopedia or Wikipedia. Oh, that's so, nice. Like, I made it. Grace has one of those, I think. Thing. Yes, great. All female actors yeah. have one. And I just didn't think I was like going to get chosen to be on the foot wiki. Fuck yeah, you made but, like, it. I, feel, I woke up this morning to it and I feel really good about That's it. so I exciting. texted Sashira. I was like, I'm on the foot wiki. She's I'm, like, did you see my page? I was like, I'll go to it now. How is hers? Hers is great. People really like her toes. That's exciting. <laughs> She'll get comments on Instagram where people will be like, "Hey, uh, so you're not wearing any shoes? You you want you want to want to see them toes? It's very funny <laughs> to me. Want to see them toes? Can we can we see them toes? Give me give me a piece of the toes. Do you like toes? Um, I don't I don't have any problem with them. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, that's a fair answer. Yeah, I don't. I'm glad you weren't like, oh, toes. I'm a slide out of the seat. No, no, I just I'm not like everything's cool. Yeah, toes, yeah, cool. <laughs> All right, Brooks, thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Bye-bye. That was a HeadGum Podcast.